Uh, <clears throat> okay, folks, it's your buddy Mike Messier. This is uh, one Mike Messier YouTube channel with a film reaction review, Path of the Panther. Okay, now what's this movie about? It's about the Florida Panther, uh, or the Florida Panthers, and their fight to stay alive in this ever-changing uh, state. I'm currently in uh, Florida. The movie did not really take place in, as they used to say, my neck of the woods, Jacksonville. I don't think Panthers would do very well here with all the car accidents that I see on a weekly basis. I'm going to tip the light fantastic. Um, but basically, these poor Panthers are trying to survive. There's these uh, Panther trackers or uh, ecologists, perhaps, that are trying to help them. Uh, one thing that I don't like for the Panther, although I know it's for the greater good, is that when they, they do get their hands on one of these Panthers, they put a fucking collar around their necks. Looks very uncomfortable to me, but I know that those things are helping the, the Panther survive, the, the tracking and so forth and the studying. Uh, interesting to go to a movie and uh, as soon as, I mean, the movie title, Path of the Panther, I did not realize it was specific to Florida Panthers. In fact, this is like a big movie week. There's a ton of movies out that just came out yesterday or two or three days ago, the weekend or whatever the fuck. All these big time movies are playing. Of course, Cocaine Bear and so forth. Um, there's another one, Emily and so forth. But I said, I'm going to go. I like cats. I'm a cat guy. I currently cohabitate with a cat and I wanted to see this movie. So I saw it. Now, um, strikingly, one of the first things you see on the movie screen for this is produced by, or executive produced by, I should say, which usually means fork it over a big check, Leonardo DiCaprio, who I just saw in Titanic, uh, 25th anniversary. I did do a review of that. As you know, I'm remodeling and repackaging my YouTube presence. I now have three channels, not just one. This is one Mike Messier YouTube channel, home of Mike's Instant Movie Reviews, and Titanic 25th Anniversary was actually the first Mike's Instant Movie Review on there. Of course, you can still find all the archives of my stuff on One Pro Wrestling Fan, which will now be mostly dedicated to pro wrestling, but it's still going to have all the archives from all the good old days we've spent together. Uh, what else? Um... This felt like kind of an old school documentary, meaning um, like it felt like, you know, something you'd see on National Geographic or something. In fact, National Geographic magazine does come into play uh, because they do some coverage of the gentleman who's the kind of the star of our movie here. The guy that's trying to save the Panthers. Sorry, I can't remember his name. I've had a long couple of days. Uh, you know, there is. How do I put this? There is. It's not like, you know, in the last 10 or 15 years, capturing the Freedmen's or Bowling for Columbine, all these kind of, you know, circumspect or whatever the fuck, subterfuge uh, documentaries. Uh, this is not like that. This is a good old fashioned, old school, here's a problem, here's what people are trying to do to solve it, uh, you know, documentary. It's kind of an old school doc. Uh, there's no edginess or no sardonicness, or no cynicism. It's it's a good old-fashioned documentary, okay? So I enjoyed it. Um, you know, I didn't know how this thing was going to end. I mean, a big part of this movie is, uh, you know, maybe halfway through, we learned that the state of Florida, always looking to, you know, expand, get more people in here, blah, blah, blah. And uh, thinking about putting three new toll roads right down the middle of the state, which would basically screw the Panthers even further and other wildlife, I'm sure. And so it's this whole, and like, you know, sorry, folks, I'm not up to date on current events. So I really didn't know how that was going to break down. I'm sure every other asshole and his stepfather would fucking know the results of that thing, that vote or that law or that bill. But I did not know. Okay, 
So that was some good suspense. Uh, you know, and it's the whole thing of, you know, industrialism, gentrification, uh, money, uh, greed, adding buildings, adding roads, adding people at the expense of nature. And so, you know, you kind of get some hope from this movie that nature is going to win this round or at least um, save off destruction of these poor uh, uh, panthers. I mean, you could actually do 20 movies from this thing. You could have the alligator movie or the gator movie. Uh, midway through, I, ga I gave myself that fucking quandary again because there was some, you know, alligators in this movie by happenstance. And I started thinking, what's the difference between an alligator and a crocodile? And I can never remember. I can't. I mean, I look it up every once in a while. I find out the information and then phew, it's out my brain. I don't remember. So I don't know if you folks want to leave a comment or a query or a question. What is the difference between an alligator and a crocodile? It sounds like a pretty good <laughs> setup for a joke, but it's not. It's an honest question. And I've, know, I've known that in the past, but now I don't know. So it's just bothering me. Uh, these panthers, though, you know, the only time I'm really experiencing anything close, when I was first moving down here to Florida, I was actually in the state of South Carolina, driving south through South Carolina, and on the right-hand side of the road was what looked to be a freshly deceased, uh, I guess it was a mountain lion or a panther or something. It was just a huge cat. I was freaked out. I mean, I was, I just couldn't believe what I was seeing. Uh, but then I discussed this with people and it's just, you know, it's one of those things that you see every once in a while. Um, you know, you see these geckos. I mean, in New England, you just see the gecko in the fucking Geico commercial. But here you actually see geckos walking around. You, you become pets, but you don't want to touch a gecko because they could be poisonous. You just leave them alone. Iguanas. I've shared some iguana experiences down here. Uh, yes, I have uh, actually in Fort Myers beach. I took a nice video, which is somewhere on the one pro wrestling fan channel. God, I've got three channels I got to deal with now. Um, but yeah, I mean, iguanas, geckos, uh, Canadian moose come down here to Florida to vacation and hang out with me at the pool. I did get a fucking sunburn today. I mean, not just a tan, but a burn. Look, I'm all burned up. Uh, but in any event, I'm getting a fucking sunburn in February. All my New England friends are up there cold as cucumbers, and I'm here burning up in the sun. So there you go, folks. So what else can I say? Uh, Path of the Panther, good movie. Now look, I guess I'm a little demented. I guess I look for a narrative sometimes. I mean, I'll be honest. When I get a little bit bored in a film, I start making like, hey, what if this happened? The, the ecologist guy looks like he's about 60 years old, could be younger, could be 50, maybe, you know, 45, but I think he's probably more like 50, something like that in this movie. Nice guy. And then there's like this other preservation of the panther person, this chick who works in like the fucking forest or the park, and she's about his age, and I keep wondering, are these two, you know fucking each other or what i mean it's like the middle of this benign dock you just happen to have this dude and this other chick and they both like panthers and uh they seem like they would be a good couple at the prom you know they seem like they have matching hair color and about the same age and similar interest in saving the panther uh we do not know if this gentleman is married or if she's married to someone else but i just thought it'd be nice if they had a little bit of romance but they did not, at least not in this documentary. Uh, so there you go, folks. So, I mean, you know, uh, the guy in Florida that everybody talks about, Governor Ron DeSantis, uh, he's briefly mentioned in this thing. Doesn't really, ha they don't really come down on him one way or the other. Uh, he's one of those divisive characters, uh, not only in our state, I say are, like I fucking live here now. God. But the, not only do uh, is Governor DeSantis a divisive individual, he causes, he, he, whether through choice or through happenstance, 
he causes people to have big opinions on him, okay? Because a lot of people like him and a lot of people don't. So there you go. So he um, he's in this thing, you know, because he's got the big, you know, thing to sign the bill or sign the law about the, the toll roads and all that stuff. And so he's in it, but just, he doesn't really have a talking head moment. They don't interview him. Nobody really puts him down or builds him up. He's just kind of mentioned in the passing fancy, which is probably smart from, you know, the filmmaker's perspective, because like I said, to mention him is one thing, but if you were going to condemn or condone, uh, if you watched my earlier video from today when I was reviewing the brand new film Cocaine Bear, you would hear my condemn versus condone, condone confusion, but they don't do either in this movie. So there you go. Uh, I enjoyed the film. I thought it was good. I'm rooting for the Panther. I didn't realize um, how exciting, not exciting, but how, is it important? I think so. I mean, you want to conserve as many of these creatures uh, as we can. Um, you hate to see things go extinct. You, you want to see things persevere. Um, of course, you don't want to hang out with the panther. I don't think they're human eaters unless, you know, you fuck with them. But you wouldn't want to fuck with one. Let's put it that way. They have big, scary claws. I mean, even a house cat can scratch you up pretty good. But uh, imagine what a panther could do. Okay, folks, I'm going to call this a night. Uh, once again, I know it's it's a lot of changes all at once. This is, from now on, the home of Mike's Instant Movie Review. One Mike Messier YouTube channel. I might even change that again to just one Mike Messier and have the YouTube channel be understood. But uh, for now, it's one Mike Messier YouTube channel. Might be one Mike Messier before you know it. One pro wrestling fan. The numeral one, not the word one. The numeral. Um... Um, and one man in a camera film. So all very exciting. Uh, thanks to all the film festivals who've been honoring disregard my movie, my silent film with musical accompaniment, winning awards left and right, seven awards and counting. Very exciting. Um, everyone's excited. And that's it. If you need more of me, go to MikeMessier.com. You can see the links up there diagonally and buy all my books on Amazon. There's a book for every asshole. There's a fucking vampire novel. There's a sports coming of age story. There's a pro wrestling trivia book on Kindle Vela. There's Bad Girls with Good Tattoos, a feminist novel that I published on behalf of Kate Spain. Very exciting stuff. Uh, nice woman who, you know, works at the library in Massachusetts. Nice lady. That's it, folks. So talk to you later. Uh, keep your fist out of your asshole and your finger in your eye or whatever the fuck. Have a nice night.